Hey everyone, welcome to my Starlink review. I'm based in Ireland and I just got my Starlink so I wanted to share my first experience with it and run a few speed tests for you. I'm uploading this video now and I will upload another in about a month or so to reevaluate how things are going. If you do want to see that video in about a month's time, please do subscribe. Now, I have been looking for a good connection for about a year or so since we moved into our newly built home. Currently, I have what's known as rural Wi-Fi satellite internet and a Vodafone SIM card in a router kind of setup. Now, none of these are amazing, but the Vodafone SIM is slightly better just because of the lower ping it happens to have in this area. Nevertheless, we can't run Netflix and game online at the same time with either of them. Now, if you're not familiar with Starlink, there are plenty of videos on it that go really, really in detail. But if you have any specific questions on this video, I'm of course more than happy to answer them in the comments section below. I'll keep the unboxing brief and get right to the good stuff that you're here for. Initially, I was interested in Starlink for a couple of years, watching it from the development phase to production. So I went and did a little research and I'm located roughly here. So when I went to overlay the satellite Starlink map, we actually happened to have just a few satellites moving over Ireland. So we decided let's just give it a go and see what happens. Took about a month from deposit to getting a delivery notice. Uh, but bear in mind, this is still Starlink beta. So guys, let's take a look at what is in the box. First thing out is the mount. Um, yeah, nice build quality, not crazy heavy. Uh, then onto the router, of course, uh, which is a nice design, pretty sleek looking. And you'll see here, obviously it has a outlet. I'm gonna use that for a TP link just to boost signal around the house as the house is all uh, concrete walls, concrete floors upstairs and things like that. There's your PoE injector. Now that does have very high uh, wattage. It doesn't use it. It's just to power a heater if and when it becomes icy and snowy. The Starlink will actually melt the ice and snow off of itself. And there is the Starlink itself. Pretty cool, not too heavy, uh, but seems a good build quality. Okay guys, so taking a quick look at the instructions, it's very simple, download the Starlink app, place the Starlink with a clear view of the sky, plug everything in and connect to Wi-Fi. So let's take a look at the gear all laid out. You have your mount, your PoE injector, your router, and then the Starlink snaps onto the mount with no problem. It does look really well from all angles, obviously not too important as it's going up on the roof, but hey, it looks cool. I'm going to place it outside my kitchen here on the picnic table just to test. Uh, it's the best place I have without going to the roof just to do some initial tests. Plug it in, turn it on, and let's get started. As you can see here, the satellite is tilting and rotating to orientate itself towards the best satellite. It actually ended up pointing itself in a southerly direction. Next, go ahead and download the Starlink app, open it, and begin your setup. During the setup, you'll be asked to connect to Wi-Fi, so you'll go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi your Starlink is emitting. It will then ask you to sign into that Starlink where you'll create an SSID or a username and a password for your Wi-Fi connection. Once that's saved, go back in, connect to that signal and enter your password and connect. Now, let's do a speed test. Speed test number one. Wow, we've literally just gone from two to three megabyte download all the way up to the high 60s there. This is your upload speed in purple, around 45, 47, 48. So speed test number one, 70 down, 54 up. I'm immediately going to do test number two. Okay, getting higher. So we're over 100 meg download, 110, 102, coming down a little bit. With a ping of 38, which is okay, and a jitter of four. I'm happy enough with any ping under 50, to be honest. So that one's just under 100 meg download and the upload is around 35 steady here. Bear in mind, guys, I've just plugged the Starlink in five minutes ago, so the tests do seem to be climbing in speed. Maybe that's as the connection is strengthening. I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a third speed test. So ping is okay approximately 38. We're going over 100 meg download again. 110, 115. I'm just taking some screenshots because uh, I have a couple of friends who just won't believe that I'm getting these speeds finally. And upload is around 45. So I'm going to move on to speed test number four. 
and I could fast forward the whole speed test and tell you the results but I want to kind of show you how it behaves it goes up to a certain number a certain speed and then it almost puts its foot on the gas and ramps it up a little bit more so it doesn't just go straight to let's say in this case 226 229 like a fiber wired connection would do it has an initial burst and then it ramps up to its max potential here's speed test number five now up around 275 276 and then falls down a little bit to approximately 255 Here's the next speed test, uh, speed test number 6. I'll speed this up. This one maxes out at 3.30 download. And for the final speed test of this video, speed test number 7, we end up with a very similar result as the last speed test. And I did a couple of more after this and they were around this number as well. And as you can tell from the upload speed, it does vary a bit more than your download speed. At least that's what I was able to gather throughout my 7 or so speed tests. So guys, if you haven't guessed by now, in conclusion, we've just gone from 2 to 3 megabyte download per second to 250 or 300 megabytes per second download. These are just phenomenal speeds. Well, they're phenomenal speeds for me at least. Depending on your connection, this may be nothing, or this could be 100 times better than what you currently have at the moment. But there is one thing for sure, Starlink is going to shake things up when it comes to satellite internet connections. So that's it guys for my review today. As I said earlier in the video, I'm going to be doing a review again of the speeds in about a month's time so you know how things are going on, if these speeds were just beginner's luck, or to find out if Starlink is the real deal, which it does seem to be so far. So if you want to catch that video, please do subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell icon as well so you get a quick notification to say I've uploaded the next video. By the time I post this video, I should have a link in the description linking to my website where I will write out a full article about my experience so far. And as always, I hope you found that really useful. I'll see you in the next one.